Hey guys, we've got a really interesting broadhead test for you today. Today we're going to compare and test the Rage Extreme versus the Rocky Mountain Switchblade. Now these companies are both owned by Faradine, and I would assume the broadheads are probably even made in the same factory. Both have a 7 8 inch leading blade. This is a 2.3 inch rear deploying mechanical. This is a 2 inch over the top deploying mechanical. This uses the Rage collar system, whereas this uses O-rings. There are three in this pack for $24.99, and there are two in this pack for $34.99. So I thought maybe if I test them and compare them, I could save you guys a little bit of money going this route is without sacrificing any performance out of that you would get out of these. So the way we're going to test these is I'm going to shoot them through ballistics gel. We'll check out the wound channels. Uh, I'm going to shoot them out to 40 yards. Now, a quick caveat, my bow is not tuned. I thought I fixed it, and I apparently didn't, but I know it's not tuned, and because of that, It'll be interesting to test these. They both claim field point flight, so technically speaking, my untuned bow shouldn't really affect the fact, or my bow being untuned shouldn't affect how they fly out to that 40 yard distance, but we'll see. After that, we'll do some sharp out of the package sharpness testing. I brought my sharpness tester so we can actually get comparable numbers. Um, and then I'll kind of just go over what I think. Can, can Is it worth saving the money? Is it not? Things of that nature. Alrighty, now I'm gonna shoot them at the ballistics jail. You're going to forgive me, this ballistics gel has been shot before, so I'm going to do my absolute best to get in a clean area. Um, when I shoot ballistics gel, I only do it from like, I don't know, five yards is what we're at probably. Because it's not about penetration. I'm just testing the wound channel and cut, cutting ability of the broadhead. Uh, to me, ballistics gel, especially the type that I'm using, is not adequate for penetration testing. So, without further ado, I'll turn the camera and we'll get we'll get uh, shooting. All right, it's going to be a Rage Extreme first, and now for the Rocky Mountain Switchblade. Okay, so right away I see that the Rocky Mountain Switchblade entered here, pretty much all the way opened up before it went into the ballistics gel. We got a nice V cut or a X cut with your seven eighths here and two inches there and you can see very well the wound channel right there then I'm going to adjust the camera here a little bit so you can better see the rage all right so now here's the rage extreme it entered nice V cut but it wasn't open when it entered at all then, honestly, um, it doesn't look like, looking at the top here, let me adjust the camera again. Oh, you can see it beautifully. It doesn't even look like it opened at all, period. So you've got the Rage Extreme that doesn't look like it opened versus the Rocky Mountain, which very obviously opened. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and launch three arrows down range here at 40. I'm going to aim for the centermost portion of the block as I can get. Um, I'm going to shoot a field point first and I'm going to follow it with broadheads, which is something I usually never ever do, but I think it's necessary for this time. This is the Rocky Mountain Switchblade. This is the Rage Extreme. Now as you're going to see as we get down here, I think flies like a field point's complete BS because uh, my field point pretty close to the middle. The broadheads not even in the realm. The Rocky Mountains low and the Rage Extremes high left. The Rocky Mountains technically low left. Check this out. Like I said, Rocky Mountain is the low one. The Rage Extremes the high left. Now my wheels in motion. And my Well, there they are side by side. Rocky Mountain and the Rage. The leading blades are almost identical. 
The difference is this is a two inch cut, this is two and three quarter, or two and a 2.3, sorry. And the blades are a little different. So comparing them right next to each other, um, in the sharpness test, Rocky Mountain was sharper out of the box. In the field point accuracy test, to me it was a tie, neither one of them performed exceedingly well. In the ballistic gel test, the Rocky Mountain took it away. So in my opinion, the pretty clear choice here is the Rocky Mountain. Yes, you get 0.3 inches more cut from the Rage, uh, but that two inches is still going to be plenty devastating. You're going to get a little bit better penetration out of it. You get three for $24.99 or $29.99. I'll drop that here because I don't remember, but it's one of those two prices. It's not expensive. You get three, you get two for $34.99. I think overall, the Rocky Mountain is a better head. Just I, I just feel like for the money you're going to spend, you're better off going this route over this route just an opinion so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it so much and we will definitely catch you on the next one